On the left, Khalifa Haftar. On the right, Fayez al-Sarraj. Two bitter rivals and two of the main figures in Libya's ongoing conflict. Libya is split between two administrations, one based in Tobruk in the east and that largely supports Haftar, and the UN-backed government of national accord based in Tripoli to the west with al-Sarraj as prime minister. 74-year-old Field Marshal Haftar is the strongman of eastern Libya. In 1969, he took part in the coup that brought Muammar Gaddafi to power. A split with the dictator saw him exiled to America, but he returned in 2011 to take part in the uprising that would topple Gaddafi. He is commander-in-chief of the Libyan National Army, known as the LNA, a mix of military units and tribal armed groups. It has racked up military gains and liberated Benghazi from jihadists. Haftar's forces control practically all of Libya's onshore oil fields and on Thursday claim to have taken Garion. They are now threatening to march on Tripoli, where sits the government of Al-Sarraj, Libya's true leader, according to the international community and the UN. Since his nomination in 2017, Al-Sarraj has made it his mission to reconcile the country and pacify the capital. He has repeatedly tried to organize presidential and legislative elections, only to see ongoing skirmishes with Haftar's forces set them back time and time again.